Today we're going to be taking a look at our Box Leagues feature. Box Leagues are a great way for club administrators on the platform to organize and encourage competitive play at their club. So let's dive right in here from the club admin page. We're over to the performance section. I'm going to go into Box Leagues. And for the purpose of the demo today, I've actually already set one up and gone through the first cycle. So of course, when you first come here, um, you're going to just be looking at the cre Create Box League. That's going to take you right into the settings page, which obviously I've already done. So we'll take a quick look. Uh, gave it a name, the discipline. It is available for only singles at the moment. Uh, doubles will come soon. You pick your scoring format. Uh, do you want it to be ranked or friendly? I count for Sporty HQ rating points. If you pick ranked, it will typically be a 1.0 multiplier. <laughs> Who can play? Well, is it members only or open to anybody? Uh, we do have a sign up feature that players can use themselves. So that's why it's important if you open up to anyone, um, you may, may see some names that you don't recognize. How many players per box? Uh, you can add players, you can move them, uh, add boxes during the cycle. So there's a fair amount of flexibility. Um, but obviously just to kick things off, uh, you can set it up how you want, depending on how many players you have or think you might have. How's the winner calculated? Got some flexibility here. You can really use any system you like. Um, here you can see the points system I chose, uh, which is displayed on the box league view. Um, but you can really do anything from, <clears throat> you know, picking the number of points from a three level loss to a three level win, uh, total number of points score by each player, a completely custom point system score and how many points, or you can just choose the order in which the system determines it. Uh, how is the winner calculated? Well, why is this important? Well, at the end we do promotions and demotions, or that's an option. Um, and of course, this is how um, we'll, we'll base that on. And then sign up, as I just mentioned, players will have the ability to opt in to the next cycle if they uh, visit the box league during a current one. And they'll also have the ability to remove themselves. So there's a fair amount of management that the users, uh, the members can do themselves, um, which takes obviously off the plate of the admins. So that's the basic settings of the league. Uh, we'll go take a look at the box itself. We picked five people. Uh, I only put just under 15 in, I think. So we're going to see three boxes down to the fourth. Yeah. And here we can see the point system I choose. As I mentioned for admins, there's a fair amount of flexibility during the cycle. You can add another box. You can add another player here. Of course, you can res uh, enter results for every single member playing. Um, they can only do it for themselves. You can also uh, get rid of results. And then you've got some other tools up here. Um, print, obviously, if you're looking to put it up on the wall at your club so people can uh, enter in the results themselves and track it that way. Um, email or box participants, perhaps if you want to let them know that there's a new cycle out and what the dates are. Uh, edit the box dates, move player positions around. Uh, mark the cycle complete, so then it will go into your archive and it will be available through previous results only. And also delete the cycle. And then finally, the sign up status here. Um, my, I myself did, um, did not enter this league, so obviously I'm not registered to play right now. Um, I can hit join box league. That will change my status to waiting to play or to joining in the next cycle, and there'll be a wait list created. So for the admin, when you go to create the new box cycle, uh, you're going to have the ability to uh, feed in that player. And we'll take a look at that process uh, in the next video.